Hello, John. You're going to talk about your lovely painting there on the wall. Go ahead. Hello, Oliver. It's a lovely morning, and it's a, it's a, it's a lovely morning, a spring morning. We haven't had too many of them lately. It's been cloudy, but today it's lovely and sunny. Now, the same as this painting, it was lovely and sunny. This is a painting I've done recently, uh, the Sea of Galilee. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, uh, the sun is, is rising there. Or is it setting? I'm not sure which. But in any event, um, it's the Sea of Galilee, and this is where uh, our Saviour Jesus, uh, with the apostles, was in a boat, and it got very rough. He was asleep on the boat, and uh, the, the apostles of Peter and all those got a bit worried that they thought the boat was going to capsize, and, and the walking they said, Save us, we're sinking. And he said to them, You have little faith. And he calmed the waters and the, and the wind at that time. That was a, another miracle that he did. And uh, so that's the Sea of Galilee. Now, that painting, uh, funny enough, reminds me of what's in the news lately uh, about abortion, etc. Now, uh, a little story uh, that just occurred to me uh, when I was doing that and when I was finished of it. Uh, about the abortion was uh, along these lines, a kind of a scene that I pictured. Uh, a woman, pregnant, uh, goes to see her GP, uh, her doctor, and, uh, and she says to him, uh, I'm pregnant and I want to get rid of the baby. Uh, the doctor examines her and says, right enough, you are pregnant. How long are you pregnant? He asks her. And she says, well, I think it's about three months. Oh, you think it's about three months, well now you're near the, the, the end of the period uh, apparently uh, with this new law that has been introduced or is liable to be introduced. Uh, here's a note and go to the abortion factory where uh, you'd be attended to. And you'll recognise the building, it has written over it, Women's Health Facility. Uh, that's what's over the door. You ring the bell and uh, show whoever answers uh, the door uh, this uh, note. Uh, so, uh, and it's sealed. Oh, well, can I read it? Uh, uh, the woman says to the doctor. Well, no, it's, it's, for the, it's for the abortion factory. So she goes off and she goes, uh, rings the bell, and the attendant comes out, attends to her. She shows her the letter, she opens it, and she says, come with me. She's dressed in a white coat, a clinical, uh, sour sort of a merchant uh, lady, and brings her down the corridor, and uh, uh, there's a knock of saying, uh, abortion advisor clinic. She knocks on the door, brings the woman in, and hands the, the doctor's note to the clinical uh, person that's behind the desk. She looks at it, and says, oh, um, you, 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 you require abortion. Uh, uh, that's right, yes, says the woman. I want to get rid of the baby. Oh, hold on. You don't call it a baby here. It's a fetus. Uh, what's a fetus, the woman says to the doctor, or to the clinical uh, person. Oh, it's, a, it's just a blob of tissue. Nothing to worry about. So it's not a baby. No, it's, 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 it's a fetus. It's a tissue. Uh, so... Uh, as she takes her, she says, uh, come down to this other room, uh, you'll be attended to, uh, you'll have to take off your clothes, you'll be sedated, uh, and uh, in about an hour or so, depending on how you are, you'll be able to go out another door, and uh, th th this uh, fetus will be got rid of. Funny enough, as the woman was entering this facility, she did notice there was a stench. And even as she was in, so it was a stench because uh, these fetus, as the clinical person said, uh, have to be aborted and burned in incinerators. So the woman goes out the door and somehow or other her conscience begins to prick her. Begins, as Shakespeare said, conscience doth make cowards of us all. She's after doing something that she cannot undo and she goes off into the evening a very chained and chastised person and slightly fearful of the future 
because of the decision that she made and that she was allowed to make without thinking it through. That's what that painting reminds me of. Very good, John Malone. That's Thank a very you very much, Oliver. Thoughtful thing to say. Thank you. Thank you very much.